Hey, welcome guys. Tonight, it is cold, cold, cold. Tonight in San Antonio, it is actually, what is the degrees tonight? Anybody? Joe John. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? Oh, epic fail. One moment, it's currently cloudy and 45 degrees. It is 45 degrees here in San Antonio. It is crazy cold. Tonight, because we're going to talk about hair, I kept my Ushanka hat on, which is muskrat, which you have to get from Russia or Finland. So tonight we're going to talk about hair. I know it's boring to some, but everyone in their lives has hair issues at some point. My buddy Eric Williams is watching from the great state of Missouri, Mizzou. And uh, he's balding too. So you know you need to come in and get a hair transplant, bro. I love you. And I know we have a good time in Vegas together. Dr. Guims is quite possibly one of the best urologists ever to walk the earth. He happens to be in Missouri. Go visit him if you're in Missouri. I don't know how many you guys are. So today again, hair. Why does our hair fall out? Well, you have genetic reasons. Most of you guys, um, that have hair issues. And remember, it's not just women, it's men too. So men and women both can have hair loss. And actually guys have hair loss because we have a balding spot that starts at the front and ends up toward the back or the vertex. And we bald because our Hormones, testosterone gets verted to dihydrotestosterone, DHT, and DHT attacks the hair. See this? If I had this much hair, it would attack it. So, it attacks the hair. So we have to block that with something. And what we block it is, is finasteride. Finasteride has been used in the urology industry for a long time. It's a DHT blocker. Um, and Kimberly said something real good on Facebook, and I'll get to that too. Hair is also falls out from stress, lack of vitamins, and hormones as well. And that's a good point. So we have to block that first. So before I start any hair treatment, you have to block that DHT from attacking your hair. So you have to block the conversion of testosterone to DHT. So we use finasteride, okay? Finasteride has been shown to have a very, very tiny, small side effect, less than 1% of the population, that the side effect is sexual dysfunction. And in a very small side of portion of that 1% or less, it can become permanent. And we have to tell people that. I'm on DHT, DHT blocker, never had a problem, but you have to know that before you start. So testosterone to DHT, we have to block that right there. So, Fernanda Aguilera is on. She is one of my great estheticians at Spa Black. The She's, Mr. Miami says hey. The Mr. Miami. On Instagram. Hello. What's going on, mister? So, once we block that, we're going to get to a point where we're not going to lose any more hair. And remember, finasteride doesn't grow hair. It just prevents the blockage. So, let's say that I were to start a hair program on you. Neograft, lights, exosomes, PRP, laser resurfacing. We started to do all that, but you did not block the dihydrotestosterone, okay? Then you're just going to the hair, we'll do more, but then you'll start to recede and you'll get a gap between where I transplanted and where the, the hair is receding from, much like when girls get their nails painted, and then their nail grows out and they have to do what they call a fill-in, but it's in reverse. You see what I'm saying, Ashley? Good job on that. Ashley always wants me to make it Um, Oh, and I couldn't do this without my crew here, my two live crew, Ash Bash. She's over there out of the thing. If I turn it too much, she's gonna get I'll mad. Right. Okay, she doesn't wanna do that. There's Joe John over there, peeking like a creeper. Let's get you back. Okay, there's Joe John right here, everybody. If you need somebody to film your stuff, there he is peeking here. There's a producer right there. I've promoted him to producer, although I know more than he does. And here's Twitter. 
right here. What's up? What's, What's up? <laughs> okay. So it's our Tuesday night fun night. This is always very fun because I get to connect with y'all in my house. Okay, so we blocked the dihydrotestosterone. Rogaine or minoxidil has been shown to thicken your hair. It won't make an actual hair growth, but it'll thicken what you have. So you'll see that any hair like this, if you take Rogaine and you stick with it, it'll just thicken it. Imagine that this is a small patch and you take Rogaine and put it on there and you add finasteride and Rogaine, you'll generally reduce the amount of hair you're going to shed. And studies have shown that by the time you see hair loss, you've lost 50% in that area of your hair, which is a lot. We're born with between 100 and 200,000 follicles um, on birth. And as we, as DHT gets in and starts to attack our hair, we start to lose that, okay? So, so we've got finasteride, we've got Rogaine, okay? And Rogaine does work. Um, you just have to stick with it, but you need something to prevent hair from getting worse. Uh, I'm trying to get all your comments. I'm getting a Dr. J with two fist emoji on Twitter. So two fist to you. <laughs> I think we lost Ashley. That's she, like, a, like a pound. She's like, give me a pound like this emoji, this thing. On Twitter, my Twitter boys from Billy Madison Show. Um, Seha says, love the hat, you're looking fly. Thanks, Seha, what's up? Uh, love the hat, made my Wednesday morning. Your sense of humor is addictive. From Hernandez Navarro, let's say, I told you I'm funny. <laughs> Ashley, and you too. They're probably addictive. Okay, so anyway, I'm wearing the hat to show that it's hair day today, and I actually wore this all day and I walk my dog in it down the neighborhood so everyone can see my Ushanka Russian hat. Anyway, and I have a black one. And I have another brown one that's Fox. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh, okay. And so we got the finasteride. My hair is sticking up. We have the finasteride. We have the Rogaine, okay? Now, you see all that. You're thinking, okay, I've done all I can. You can add red light now. And we do have a red light laser in the office. We can put you under while you're waiting. It's less than $25 a session. It actually stimulates the hair through low level light therapy. And we're gonna start seeing that at Spa Black Where's Bach. Um, so low light laser therapy, Rogaine, Finasteride, and of course you have Viviscal, which are vitamins. You add hair care products, which we do sell. Combination of vitamins and herbs, they do help because they do thicken the scalp, the hair follicle at its root in the scalp. But the granddaddy of them all is of course, fat is, is grafting. However, I've been uh, trying something called exosomes. I'm gonna show you my hair growth. This is just exosomes with laser resurfacing. Now you're gonna think, how is a laser ever going to help you grow hair? Well. As the, the light shines into the skin, the laser penetrates the skin all the way deep to the layer where the bulb is, where the old bulb is, and causes coagulation or causes damage, right? Controlled damage. The body repairs that damage with new blood vessels, okay? And as these new blood vessels come in, they promote new growth of hair, which is kind of cool. So then we stimulate that some more by doing exosomes, and I'm going to show you my hair after two sessions of PRP mixed with exit. Good question. Does smoking like negatively affect your hair growth? The question from the audience, my two audience in here, are does smoking affect hair growth? Yes. If you smoke, you're reducing the oxygen, the partial pressure of oxygen to the hair and skin. When you reduce that, you reduce wound healing, you reduce growth. You reduce hair growth. If you're getting a BBL or any kind of fat grafting, the fat will not take because it relies on blood supply. And what did you do? You shunted it, you got took it away from there. It's clogged, et cetera, et cetera. So do not smoke if you want to make hair. This is not gonna happen. Plus it stinks, it's a horrible, horrible thing to do. 
and it's really bad for you, Even no matter what. Even if you smoke other things too? Doesn't matter what you smoke, doesn't matter if you vape it, smoke it, whatever. All those materials, eventually, all that stuff eventually gets through the body and causes vasoconstriction, okay? I'm not gonna argue with you vaping or all that because studies are coming out now that vaping isn't so great. So let's not go there. So I make people get off of everything before surgery. And I certainly am not gonna do a neograft or a BBL if you're smoking or vaping. Okay, enough of my soapbox. Okay, so here I am. I've been on Rogaine, Finasteride, and I did some laser resurfacing with PRP and the exosomes. And this is my, this is my after two, ugh. where'd you get this in a Cracker Jack box, bro? What did you do, you close it? Hold on. So, on the left side here was me, and you see the grooving I had in my hair because I'm stressed out from having 19 staff. And here's the grooving right there, okay? I was losing hair pretty regularly. See those grooves? Okay, see that? Now this is me filling in the hair. This is six weeks after a, a second one. CJ Ibarra said Cracker Jack's box and left. So this is all me filling in my hair, natural growth, okay, from the PRP with the laser resurfacing. And we did two sessions. This is the sex one, second one, sex one. This is the second one, second one. Okay, this is not a hair grafting. This is purely PRP with exosomes and hair laser. Very, very interesting, huh? How many treatments do you do? I just do? said it was two treatments. How many, how many people, like, do people normally only need two? Do they so do the question is, how many treatments does it take? Sometimes it takes two. Sometimes it takes three. Oh, you can't see? On Twitter, God, they're high maintenance. Mm -hmm. Turn off that, maybe we reduce that. So you see right here, Mr. Twitter? So right there is the grooving, right there. And that's it filling in with, let me see if I can get closer, okay? On one side, that's just PRP mixed with exosomes and then the laser. PRP mixed with exosomes and the laser right there. All right, g Bunnies, I'm waving at a bunch of you. Y'all crazies. That is Jackie Smith. And we can do this on women too. Women get what they call Christmas tree alopecia. So their hair splits in the side and they start getting alopecia down the middle of their hair. They don't really get male pattern balding. So we can cure that too with this. And this has this is not a hair transplant. This is solely PRP exosome with uh, lasers. Okay. A ver. Okay, go. That right there is is roughly between seven ninety nine to ten ninety nine a session. You normally need four sessions over the year. It's still cheaper than a um an uh, a hair transplant, which can be roughly at about four ninety nine a graft. And you need anywhere between fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred grafts, so that could be seven thousand to up to thirteen to to fifteen thousand dollars for a hair transplant. Okay. Question, does wearing a hat cause hair loss from the friction or putting it on it? Yes, it does. As, as you're adding a hat on like this, of course you're pulling and you get traction alopecia. Judy, Judy, Resha Genevi is watching, but I think that's my niece, Kenzie. Hi, Kenzie. Love you, Uncle Tyth. Judy, Judy says, oh, there she is. That's right, it is Kenzie, I guessed it. Hi, Kenzie. So Judy, Judy says, how often? You know, this is kind of like changing the oil in your car. You're going to have to come a couple times a year. After we do that first four in a year, you'll probably have to come once every four to six months. Depends on your hair loss. So it's not a permanent solution. Uh, Kenzie says, I love you. I'm such a proud niece. Thank you, Kenzie. You're awesome. So again, these are, these are procedures. These are procedures that are not permanent, but if you can get away with that, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's get you to some hair transplant sessions, okay? 
Um, this is one of my early transplants. This was 3,000 grafts, okay? Now we're moving into neograft hair transplant, okay? So I'm gonna move back a little bit. I hope you guys can see. I'll try to hit the contrast button. See if you can see that. You can see it. Can you see it? Joe John, the producer, can you see this? Okay. So again, this guy's hairline stopped here. You could see just with the transplant how much further we got the bell-shaped curve and that all filled in pretty nicely. Again, I'm gonna come a little bit closer and I'm gonna bring it across everybody's vision. There you go. That's about 3,000 graphs. And you can see you need all 3,000 to really cover a hair. And sometimes you're gonna need um, a transplant just to make the coverage and another transplant to make thickness. And so it depends on how bald you are. Like if you're all the way bald back here, you're gonna need two transplants, one just to cover and one to thicken. One to cover, one to thicken. Nadia El Marudi, who owns the best Middle Eastern restaurant in town, Moroccan, always the best of eats, is at Moroccan Bites at Evers and 410. I eat there all the time, get the lamb shank apricot. But go see, go to Moroccan Bites and tell them Dr. J sent you, and then Nadia will give you a free appetizer. I hope I said that right, Nadia, don't kill me. But go say the Dr. Genevieve free appetizer at Moroccan Bites. And Nadia says, you're the best doctor, good luck. Okay, so here we go. So that's a 3,000 graft, okay, and that. And you can really see how it filled in and changed this guy's life. This is, a, uh, this is not something you can get 100% uh, non-surgically, okay? Can I just say you are the best doctor. I said that. No, just kidding. Okay. This is my friend. Uh, Nadia says, thank you so much. You deserve it, Nadia. You have a great restaurant. We are going to go to Morocco. We're going to go to Marrakesh. Uh, Casablanca. Casablanca. And what was that other one in the, in the north? I, have to, I wrote them down. Raqqa or, or some. Anyway, Nadia, you'll let us know. Uh, Jeff Mikey says, does it work for facial hair? Yes, it does. We can thicken your, great, your facial hair by lasering it adding their exosomes and PRP and give you a nice hairy, bushy face if you want. Just like Joe John. Except Joe John is real, real kid-like looking and can't grow anything on his face. I can't. Oh, there it is. Nadia says that the, it's called <laughs> Agadir. So if you need to know anything about Morocco, go eat them at Moroccan Bites and Nadia will tell you about Morocco. Heading out, Dr. J, love the live. And Heading out, Dr. J, love the live info. You're welcome. Okay, so here's Billy Madison's hair. Yes, the famous Billy Madison. Believe it or not, him and I are just as vain as each other. And we like to do that. We like to be vain. So look at his hair was receding. I'm gonna pull back a little bit and then I'm gonna come closer. This is him after about six weeks. You see the budding hair follicles? It's and better, this is- It's better closer. I know, but I have to show everybody. So I'm just gonna go across the line. Before six weeks, and then after, full head of hair. I've got to go through all of them. Before, before, six weeks after. Before, receding hairline, six weeks with the budding hair. And then after, full head of hair. He loves it. Okay? Again, that's right there. That's two, about 2,000 grafts. We also grafted into his temporal line because he... Uh, wanted his temporal line filled in a little bit because it was also receding. So guys, you get a session of your temporal line like I got a little bit here, but I'm filling in these gaps now with lasers. All right, good. Here's somebody I just... Uh, How's my hair do? Ashley has the most incredible hairline. <laughs> and I'm not even kissing her butt on this, but as a girl, incredible hairline. It looks like somebody put hair in there, like a hair yeah. transplant. Very it's good. sickening, actually, how awesome it is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this gentleman right here, he did say I could use his face, but for privacy, I just, I whited him out. Hold, please. What would be the range to, about the face for your face? Uh, you mean the hair transplant or beard? Is it a beard transplant or just thickening the hair or patchiness? You know what? 
The price can range anywhere between $1,500 to all the way to $12,000 without seeing you. Um, somebody put laser beams, laser beams. Did you put that? Oh, the eyes. Probably somebody said laser beams. No, it came from us. Thomas T. Jedi, MD. Laser beams, laser beams. Nope. Somebody hijack us. I, I think... I said laser beams, laser beams. Somebody put laser beams, laser beams. Anyway... Okay, so look at this guy here. We're going to talk about his hairline. So this guy is always putting his hair in a ponytail like me. So he gets a, what they call a traction alopecia. You start to see this pullback on his hairline. See those big heavy spaces? Okay. Those are... That's, and in women, you can get this along the sides, front. This is traction because it's pulling hairline alopecia. Traction alopecia okay what's it called again i'm gonna kill you um, this is him now filled in pretty nice i think this is a little bit of a glare on here mr producer man we're gonna, we're gonna t tone down the glare a little bit and i hope you guys can see this but this is really really bright let's see can you see this guys yeah. Okay. We have cleared that traction alopecia. He put in about 1,500 to 2,000 grafts. And we covered that whole area. And he needs a second round. Okay. Because at some point, uh, he wants to thicken that area. But what we're doing to thicken it is we're going to add a little exosomes and PRP along with laser. Okay. So there it is right there. I hope you guys can see that. It's... Hold it back because it's showing the reflection of the, I know, but... the camera. There, that's better. Okay, so you can see there, and I'll, I'll put him back, the traction alopecia. So that's him before. See those big spaces? And now, boom, right there. Claudia Lara says, any specials in Botox? Text us right now, 210270. Oh, 8595, sorry guys. We had a little technical difficulty. 210-270-8595 and we'll get you uh, $99 for 20 units of Juveau to just try us out. Gabe Adrian's brother said, what's up, dog? What's up, brother? Oh, what's up? What is he on? Uh, uh, on Instagram, Gabe. He is? Mm -hmm. I don't see him. He wrote Gabe Esco. Gabe Esco, nice seeing you, man. Trying to wave at all y'all. Okay, Gabe, you want to wave at all y'all? Gabe, you want to wave at all Trying to wave at all y'all. Okay, so we're going to put on, uh, for Claudia Lara on Facebook, Ashley and, and um, Joe John, put on uh, text 210-270-8595, and you'll get a $99 Juvelle, okay? So, if you guys are short on funds, and you just want to maintain, okay, you do the fill-ins, just like this, and that can fill in the hairline pretty nicely. You see that? How that filled in? Little holes, and that is filled in and thickened over time. But of course, I'm on finasteride, and I'm on Rogaine. And without those, I can't help it. So again, if you want the $99 20-unit Juveau, you must text in to 210-270-8595. We're also, anybody wanting surgery that's a new patient only, you can text in tonight for up to $500 off your surgery if you spend more than $10,000, 250 below 10000 so that's before. And this is a really thick head of hair right there. After. Way on the left. This is intermittent right there. And after this is Billy Madison's head right there. He loved it, loved it, loved it. So how do you take care of your hair after you do this? Well, we make you buy... A big old John Deere. Yeah, bring the lights back in. Yes. Let there be light. So, after you have the uh, the hair transplant, Patty Trim. Hey, Dr. Genevieve. Hey, Patty. It's been a long time. So, after you take care of your hair, after that, we make you bathe the hair in baby shampoo for one day. But you can't scrub it after a transplant because you'll pull the hair out. And then at one week, we're allowing you to, to wash a little bit more frequently. But every day, you're going to take some 
Baby shampoo, you're going to pour it on your hair. We also give you an anti-itching balm for your hair because it itches like H-E-L-L -L, from what I hear. Um, three, uh, we're going to make you wear a big old John Deere trucker cap because a regular cap is, is on your head, but a John, but one of those long length, long front caps, the, the, the band sticks right at the forehead and not at the top. How do you take care of your hair after exosomes or PRP with laser? Well, there isn't much you have to do. You have to um, make sure that you are on a preventative program with uh, laser, low, level, low level light with PRP and exosomes at least quarterly. Sometimes you can stretch it out half a year. Depends on how thick you want it. Depends on what kind of stuff you want it with. You want to... Do you want to make a real thick like this Ushanka hat? Are you okay with just little stuff? If you want it like lovely Ashley's hair, you're going to need it like six times a year, baby. So, anyway, Joe John's not even paying attention. He's playing something on his phone. Do you offer laser hair removal? Oh, okay. Let's go backwards. Claudia Lara. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, so Claudia Laura just texted the number, Freddie, uh, or we will get right on it and make sure that you get your $99 Botox. We know you're going to love it. So guess what we also do? If you don't want hair, we take it away too. Laser hair removal. I kind of like this one actually. Looking fine. So we also will laser hair removal. I have a beautiful new machine called the Astanza. Cat Trejo, I'm waving at you. Coach Dan, waving at you. Um, we have this new machine that has a huge spot size. It can do a, a back, a front, torso, or full legs in under nine minutes. What about your private? I'm here, Doc. I think that's Freddie. Did a Facebook takeover tonight. That's okay. Um, those things take, and, and I'm a wimp, but with this contact cooling... Uh, Astanza, it works awesome. It could do privates. And it can do privates. And I told you that yesterday. So huh. it does do Brazilians. It's awesome because, because I'm a plastic surgeon and I am on site, we can do topical lidocaine. Yes. Topical lidocaine for one hour prior to your procedure. You either come in one hour and we put it right there. Mm. My friends in Fort Worth, VH Plastic Surgery, Van, Ver, Van Halen, I always like to say Ver Halen Plastic Surgery in the house. Um, great, great plastic surgeon in Fort Worth. He did my lipo. He kicks ass. His wife, Elaine, is one of the best injectors in Dallas, Fort Worth, if not the United States. She does a great job. Um, and uh, that's it. We're getting close to finishing. A little housekeeping. Our moonlight hours are next Thursday, where I see you guys. Hold on. Hi, Dr. Jeremy. Tell my girl Rebecca hi. I'll be seeing her soon for some more work. Rebecca, believe it or not, is still at the spa because she loves the work and she loves you guys. And she's one of the best injectors ever, ever in the history of injecting. So um, she's at the spa right now. She just sold an M Sculpt package. And we sold like four today, three or four or something, uh, which is awesome. Uh, what was I saying? Housekeeping. Oh, we have Moonlight Consults, which are next week, next Thursday, uh, in my office. And what I that's, those are 10-minute mini consults from 5 to 7. Text your name and everything in tonight if you want to do that. I also took some virtual consults. I'll take them at 8 o'clock tonight. You go to my website. You go up the menu button, Dr. Genevieve Plaster, you hit virtual consults. And I'll take some tonight for free, completely um, I'll put the link in there. Yeah, he's going to put the link to it. Or if you want to copy and paste the link, um, that I'll be on doxy.me doing your consults tonight. I did one from Houston today. Uh, we did one from uh, Miami the other day. I mean, it's awesome. Um, Joanne Hernandez says, Rebecca is the best. I love her. And Elaine says, Rebecca is amazing. Okay, Rebecca, you're getting a lot of kudos. There's our doxy.me forward slash consult. I'll wait for you guys till about 8.15, then I'm going to go hit night-night. Did you like that? Go to night-night? Yeah, yeah. Or I'll yaya if you're Polish. 
Um, also, please subscribe to YouTube, Dr. Genevieve Plastic Surgery. Joe John is going to be fired tomorrow if we don't get 40 subscribers tonight. Right, Joe John? Yeah. Yeah. So we'd like to have 40 subscribers a day. We love you guys. And you hit the notification bell, Dr. Genevieve Plastic Surgery. It has my pre and post-op. It has two to 300 videos um, on the site of everything. Extended tummy tucks, facelifts, rhinoplasty, mini facelifts, neck lifts, eyelid lifts, breast dog, breast lift, breast dog with breast lift, lipo, in mode, body tight, acu tight, all that stuff. Please, please, please join uh, Dr. Genevieve Plastic Surgery. We put up four videos a week. Tomorrow, we have two surgeries that'll be on. A breast dog and a breast dog with a lift starting at 7 o'clock, extending all the way to 11. We love you guys. Text right now, 210-270-8595. If you're new to us, we give you between $250 and $500 off your surgery coming up. We also have a special... Joe John, give me my booty special up here. Uh, Let me see if I have it here. Uh, hmm. Hold on one second. I got a special for you guys, homeboys and girls. We have a butt special. Just this week, if you're looking for a BBL, okay, we have a butt special. Normally, $99.99, $89.99, it's $63.99 for four areas of lipo. Plus, uh, plus a BBL. That's a huge savings. If you guys want to go through my regular, it's the specials are. This may be backwards, but it's fifty three ninety nine for a gummy bear. Normally, fifty nine ninety nine. It's forty nine nine for six areas of lipo. Save two thousand dollars. Remember, it is tax season, and you're going to get your tax returns and spend them with me. Look at this. Look at this beautiful butt. How much? Forty nine ninety nine. For the BBL? Sixty nine ninety nine. And look at this right here. Uh, we do have somebody in the waiting room. I'll get to you real soon. So this is the BBL special. You are saving $3,000 off of this price. I've got to go. I've got to be in the virtual consults. Please join me in the consult room if you want more. Text your name 210-270 to 210-270-8595. And we'll see you real soon. We put the BBL special up. Wifey as a, uh, we call her director. Executive production by Joe John Productions. We've got Tup Tup in the back, my dog, who's also producing something, but not anything here. And we'll see you soon. Press like and text me if you like my hat, because I really like it. Love you guys. We'll see you next week, where we're going to talk about, what do you guys think we should talk about? Breast lifts. breast lifts. We've done a really good breast lift. Yeah, one. Just yeah. breast lifts by themselves. Yeah. With or without implants. So next week is breast lift with or without implants. All right. We'll see you soon.